Right, the eyes of the financial world from here across the globe remain trained on Greece today. Uncertainty growing over its future in the Eurozone. An exit from the currency would pave the way for a humanitarian crisis potentially, but could also prove Greece's only option to survive long term. And joining us now to discuss the options and what's been going on this morning is the executive director of the think tank New Zealand Initiative, Oliver Hartwich. Oliver, thank you for your time this morning. First of all, um, look, the polls... They're showing a small majority are in favour of Greece saying no in this referendum, getting out of Europe, getting out of these austerity measures. Um, but uh, that may be shifting a wee bit. What do you think the feel is in Greece on the ground at the moment? Well, I've seen one of the latest polls, and it had uh, the no camp in, in front at 57%. The problem is that nobody really knows what the polls uh, mean and what the referendum means, because hardly anyone even understands the question on the ballot paper. The current Greek government actually says, even if you vote no, we might still stay in the Eurozone. Well, other European leaders, including Angela Merkel and uh, the pre French president, have said, well, actually, the moment that you vote no, basically, you take yourself out. Mm. So it's not even clear what that will mean. So what's going on here? Europe wants certainty. This is the problem. This is the biggest fear they have, the fact this has never happened before. No one knows what's going to happen this weekend. No one knows how anyone's going to react. Um, and they just say, well, let's just get a decision made and let's move on. Yes. Well, um, there are no certainties around the referendum, but there is one thing that's absolutely certain. It is Greek, Greece is bankrupt, and it has been bankrupt for five years. So now is really the time to make a decision on what to do with this country. And I think the only decision that will actually help Greece in the long run is to take it out of the Eurozone, because it cannot recover economically while it stays in. Right, so let's look at that. Let's assume that come next week they're moving away, they're going to start printing drachma again. What are the downsides? Well, the downsides, of course, is uh, that it will be very chaotic, it will be very difficult, it will be very hurtful to a lot of Greeks because they will lose some of their savings and let's hope it won't turn violent and it will be a very tough transition period. However, in the midterm, what we can expect is, of course, that a new Greek currency, let's call it the new drachma, will devalue and that is exactly what Greece needs because Greece is too expensive. Greece is currently 30 or 40 percent too expensive compared to its neighbours, compared to, say, Turkey or Bulgaria. So tourists actually trying to take their tourist dollars and tourist uh, euros somewhere, they're probably getting a better deal at the moment in Turkey and Bulgaria, which is exactly why Greece can't compete. Right, the, the, one, the one great industry, tourism, is struggling. Now let's look at the pros and cons for Europe. Let's say Greece leaves the Eurozone. Surely Germany and the like are going to say, great, we've got this anchor off, we've got this weight off our, our shoulders now, this, this problem we've got. We'll help them humanitarianly, but now we can all move on? I'm not quite sure the Germans actually see it that way. Certainly Angela Merkel doesn't, because what will actually happen once Greece departs from the Eurozone is that all these nice guarantees that haven't really cost the Germans anything so far will be triggered. And that means it will be very expensive for the Germans. There are some estimates saying that Germany would have to pay about 88 billion euros the moment that Greece actually departs. So it will be very expensive then for the Germans. Geez, Germany really cops it, doesn't it? And also there's that, the fear that other countries who are may sort of learn, hold on from this. I mean, uh, they're talking about Portugal, Ireland, Spain. Other countries may say, well, let's get out. That's exactly right. I mean, should the Greek departure from the Eurozone actually result in a stronger Greek economy, say, in a, in a couple of years' time, Portugal will well be asking itself, is there any point really staying in the Eurozone? Or couldn't we learn something from the Greek example? The other thing that might happen is, of course, that markets will see once a country departs from the Eurozone, it is not long, no longer really monetary union. It is more like a fixed exchange rate mechanism, so you can actually start speculating against, against countries. Uh, Oliver, the good news is, of course, despite the fact Greece owes half a trillion dollars, um, there's a fundraising page uh, <laughs> going to pay Greek debts, which we trivialise what is a hugely uh, serious situation. But, uh, yep, we'll, f we'll find out what happens over the weekend, I guess. Oliver Hartwich from uh, the New Zealand Initiative, thanks for your time. Thank you.